What started out as just going up today to hang out, build a little snow shelter, got way too serious, way too quick, and it looks like we're going winter camping, but it might just be me by myself. Well, BES Extreme in the Milwaukee. <laughs> I have one right here. I should have the Milwaukee stereo and the cooler on there. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a thing of beauty. The middle piece. Ben. Oh. <laughs> so if you guys remember last year, I went winter camping up on the mountain. Uh, totally unprepared this year we're doing it a little bit prepared but not super prepared last year we went with Austin and Hugo this year I'll probably just be up there by myself all the guys are coming out to start the day but in the end it's just gonna be me last year was also only a few degrees below freezing whereas tonight it's gonna be minus 20 so <laughs> hopefully I build a good shelter I should have brought more could have stacked it way up. Good to get hired for deeper snow. Yeah, that's right. So we don't need to go like to the top of the mountain to do this. I still get somewhere that kind of overlooked town, but I also want to get up high enough where we have some deep snow. I also don't want somewhere that's too windy though. It's getting pretty picky, aren't they? for a minute see what we find oh this is kind of challenging with all this weight on the back oh wow hold on daylight soon kind of seem nicer down there yeah Yeah, so what I'm thinking is like a snow mound like this, dig into it, and then throw all the snow like this, and have the fire right here. So some of the hot air goes into this, but then we can also sit around the fire there. Where I'm sleeping is like elevated from the fire, so any hot air might go into that. Okay, we're digging out the snow through here with the snowmobile. High power shovel. Wow, ground is deep there, holy crap. So we're using the snowmobile to dig out the snow for where our fire and sitting area is gonna go and we're mound to get into the mound where I'm gonna dig out to sleep inside. That's the plan. Our holes are starting to look like something here. Lots of manpower. <laughs> Derek's on the stairs. We should each have our own hole in each side, fire in the middle. To be continued. Now if I was camping by myself, this definitely is not how I would do it. I'd just find somewhere to build a hole or dig a hole. But with six guys, we all want to sit in here, have a fire and kind of hang out. So. Ooh. <laughs> 
it is hot in here compared to out there anyway. Probably around minus 15 out there. Probably around minus two in here, it's pretty nice. Definitely overdressed for shoveling in here though. Getting lots of wood. Dad's working on this big log, just draining our, our batteries. We did bring electric tools up here, but they don't really work too well when it's this cold. Doug's building a mega fire down here in this hole. I think we should have tried to find a windier spot. <laughs> it windy when we no, it was not. I think the storm's blowing in. Looking like something though, it's pretty cool. Yep. Nice big fire, big cave happening. And we're getting some fresh pa- ow. My sleeping cave here is looking pretty awesome. Nice and big, lay down in here, but it's a little bit smoky. There's a bit of a storm rolling in, so it's pretty windy out there. And the way the wind's blowing, it's kind of blowing the draft into here. But maybe I'll just have to put a chimney in here. I, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't research winter camping. I just came out here and we're doing it. Can I order four medium pizza? <laughs> It's picked up the goods. Fits nicely. Let's get back to the guys. I see the light. Special delivery. Special delivery? What do we got? Look at that. Oh, perfect. Nice. Look at that. It's still steaming. It's still steaming. Okay, that'll be 250 bucks cash. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's stuck. Trying to pull the tree. <laughs> well, it was a good night with all the guys. Now it's time to, you know, really get serious and think about how we're gonna spend the night. I thought it was gonna be just me, but as you guys can maybe tell by, there's someone holding the camera right now. Uh, Derek decided to stay out with me, so it's just the two of us. I have a sleeping bag and all um, the necessities I need to spend the night, hopefully comfortably, never really done it before, but Derek's got nothing, so we're gonna try and, uh, you know, use uh, some, some bushcraft and whatnot to keep him warm. And I gave him a couple layers. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm probably gonna freeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun. So behind me here, we have our snow cave, which is the idea to spend the night in. And we got some climb bows here. I brought myself like a sleeping pad to sleep on, but since Derek has nothing, we're gonna bring in a bunch of pine bows, kind of lay it down, spread it out. More roomier than I thought in here. It's not bad. It's kind of what I'm thinking is, we, we both lay like this. I was gonna say both sideways, but then we're really feel crammed. So hop up here and lay down. I think. Oh, dude, this is <laughs> sleep country Canada. A little more length, <laughs> eh? Maybe, dude, like yeah. about three feet. For one person, it's perfect. Wow, that's, that was what it was supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that doesn't really, and I'm in a hole. That's a pretty warm in here. Oh, it is, for sure. And we've got a little chimney vent right here, so oxygen should be fine. Do we need more? Is that good? I mm. gotta get a bonus for this. Here, I got you a sleeping pad. It'll help uh, smooth out those 
pine boughs too. Look at that, there we go. Beautiful. We got Chloe here with us tonight. I feel like this isn't gonna be that bad. To be honest, I think the worst part about this is might be that the ride Lodge down. is not gonna be too happy that I'm sleeping with another girl. <laughs> <laughs> See how this thing works. Cause I got no idea. We should have made this bigger. Ah. I don't know if I should get naked. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Fire is roaring out there. We're all tucked in for bed. I got the sleeping bag and the pad. Derek's got the emergency blanket and the pine boughs. Pretty warm in here. How you feeling, Derek? Cool, dude. Oh, it's snowy out there. <laughs> Coming back in. A lot colder out there. Way colder, dude. Way colder up top. Oh. You cozy? You get some good sleep? No sleep. Not cozy. Uh, I'm too comfy to get up, but I gotta sleep in. <laughs> dude, no. <laughs> Derek's in a rush to get out of here this morning. He's had enough of being cold. Looks like it's snowing out pretty good, though. So uh, I took off my jacket last night, slept in my snow pants that I also melted, hit the fire last night. So five and nine, uh, uh, I need some new snow pants. <laughs> uh, now we gotta put on some cold boots. My boots are friggin' frozen, I can't get them on. I had to cut the cable on my boot yeah, I, I, uh, I couldn't get it to loosen off, so I had to cut the lower boa. <clears throat> and here it's really quite warm. I was totally comfortable sleeping last night. Wasn't cold in the slightest. I was actually kind of sweating at one point because I left my snow pants on. Hot chocolate's coming up. I don't even want hot chocolate. <laughs> the marshmallows and everything. Really? I think so. Derek, want to do it again? Yeah, but I gotta get some, some camping stuff. <laughs> if I had a sleeping bag, it would have been all right. Drink some of that, you'll feel better. No, your dirty mouth is in <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's a, get her in India. It's good. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Have it all, man. <laughs> Anybody comes across their shelter here, up on Boulder Mountain, I got an only Boulder t-shirt. Up in the cave. It's all yours. Send me a pic if you find it. You guys really buried my sled. <laughs> that is a massive hole.
fresh cow. And this is the trail. Nobody's been up yet. <laughs> well, all in all, I actually had fun doing that. I don't know if Derek had much fun sleeping the night, but we all had fun last night. And uh, he's a good sport about spending the night, being freezing cold. I think he knew if he, he left halfway through that uh, he wouldn't be able to live it down. So they have somebody in the ticket booth here every day. It's 7 a.m. It's 9 o'clock now and this is just the first group of sleds going up. That would be so boring sitting in there. Jeez, the guys aren't even riding yet. What's going on? <laughs>